Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, going first off, I hope that everybody is safe and healthy. Um, I'm not going stir crazy yet if you're in an area with a stay-at-home order, which I know is most of the most of the country and large portions of the world right now. Um, so I just want to get that wish out there for you. Uh, this week is probably going to be short. Of course, I always say that and then I babble and take a lot longer than I intend to. But basically, I've got some new toys, um, I, just a small haul, and I have a whip update for you, and that's really all that I'm going to do this week. Um, like I said, I don't really have the resources or the contact with people to start new learn by doing projects. Um, so it's mostly going to be whip updates for now, but I'm going to try to change it up a little bit and put some new starts in there in the next couple weeks. But the first news, I have a finish! Yay! So I just finished this last night. Uh, this is one of the Christmas Great Christmas Panic of 2019. Um, and this is for a friend who is an English major, huge Shakespeare fan, and has a problem saying no to people. So now he's going to have this, uh, once I get it framed, that he can just point to if he really doesn't want to tell someone no. But he'll have it. Um, I've just always thought that this line was particularly cute, and we've even got our little, our little skulls there. Alas, poor York. So, I'm... It's just a little thing, but I'm really excited because it means I'm in the home stretch. I have two Christmas gifts left. Unfortunately, they're both huge. Um, so they're going to take some time. So on to the in progress. And speaking of Christmas gifts, I made some progress on one of those. Natsu now has a complete arm and most of a vest um, that looks a little wonky. But I've counted it several times and that's the way it's supposed to be, so I'm hoping that when I get the rest of it in there it'll um, it'll look more like it's supposed to. But slow but sure development on this one and I really like it and I'll probably spend some more time on it um, re in the near future. So that's where Natsu is. Other than that, I've mostly been progressing on my stitch alongs. Um, not a lot to show with this one. This is the Avatar The Last Airbender stitch along. And I'm still working on the background because this is full coverage. But I've gotten some more of these browns in here and I'm getting really close to starting the actual, um, the actual figure starts like right about here. So, unfortunately that was month one and month two has already dropped. So I'm way, way, way behind on this one. But... We do what we can. Next up, one of my favorites. I've got it upside down, I think. No, I don't. I have it right side up. Uh, the temperature stitch along from the enablers. Um, the weather has been insane lately. Uh, in the last two weeks, we have gone from right in here, 80 degrees, um, up here and down here, 30s. So I've got blues, I've got yellows, I've got greens, all kinds of colors. They say if you don't like the weather in Indiana, just wait, and if you want to and I say, if you want to have a temperature stitch along that has nice, consistent colors that ease normally, that ease beautifully one into the other, just move. Because otherwise, this is what you get. And last but not least on what I've gotten done um, is Grimm's, which I really wish I had more time to work on this because it's turning out gorgeous. Um, this is Grimm's Factory. Stitch along, uh, Grimm's Fairy Tale Stitch Along from Clouds Factories. And um, 
I am still working on February and April is already out. So I have my January Bremontown Musicians. Uh, you can now start to see that February was the Princess and the Frog. Uh, probably going to put a lot of time in on this one because I really liked April's release. I'm really excited about it and I want to get there. Um, and it's really cute and it's a gift for my niece. And so I just want to, I want to try to keep up on it better than I have been. So the other stitch alongs, uh, there's no update on letters from Hogwarts. I'm still super duper duper far behind on that one. Um, uh, the Wonders of Space stitch along, I showed you last time that I'm actually up to date. For two more days, the next pattern drops in two days. Um, so I'm going to try to keep up with that one, uh, but we'll see. And then Doctor Who, that stitch along has been over for a while now. And not only am I not caught up on the current season of Doctor Who, but I am nowhere near caught, nowhere near finished with the stitch along. So they're all in my to-do pile and they'll get done eventually, but not right now. So the only other whip I've got is actually not a cross stitch whip. I think I mentioned that I am starting to do some knitting. Um, I'm doing one day a week. I have to work from home. My job is not conducive to work from home. So it means one day a week, I get to do a lot of boring online training and it's not boring. I like it. I love my job. I do. Um, I find that I pay attention better when I keep my hands busy. So I've been knitting. I'm working on a scarf. And one thing I'm really excited about, I've got three feet of it done now and it needs to be five feet. So I'm just, one thing I'm really excited about is you can see that my stitching has gotten a lot tighter. My edges are not nearly so wonky as they were. Like go back all the way down here to the beginning and you can see my, my wonky edges and my loose stitches. Um, so I'm remembering that how to knit, and I'm kind of excited about it. So this is just a little over halfway done, and a couple more webinars, and it should be done, and then I can start on the matching hat and mitts. So that was my whip update. Uh, as I said, I have gotten a little bit of a haul. Uh, one thing that I've been trying to do is I've been planning out new starts that I want to get going on um, to kind of change things up because I've been working on the same, well, started out with nine projects, I've finished two, but I've been working on the same seven projects uh, pretty consistently. And even though I know I need to get them done, it gets kind of boring. So I'm going to start some new ones to kind of change it up a little bit. Um, I have so I ordered some new fabric because I am a sucker for fabric. First thing I did, I'm going to do an in the one of those in this house samplers. Um, this one's going to be in this house. We do Disney. Uh, I would link the pattern, but it looks like it's not available anymore in the specific one that I got. Um, but anyway, it's all black and white. And what I got wanted to do is I want to do it in on black fabric with uh, B5200, the bright white. But then I want to change some of the wording as we're getting into like the different movies. Um, I think Frozen is represented and Lilo and Stitch and Beauty and the Beast and Cinderella and Pinocchio. And so I kind of wanted to change some of the colors of some of the words to match the movie that they came from. And so I got this, um, it's a 16 count midnight gray Ada instead of being a true black, it's more of like a chalkboard color, which I think is going to look really cool. It's going to make that stand out, but hopefully won't be quite as bad to stitch on as pure black Ada is. Um, but we'll see. But anyway, I thought it was a cool color and to stitch on it, I finally broke down and did it. Um, like I said, I'm going to do B5200, but for some of the words, I'm going, I want to do them in color and it's Disney, so it needs a little sparkle. 
So I finally broke down and bought the complete set of the E12 um, fabrics, or not fabrics, uh, flosses. I've been slowly collecting them bit by bit, but but come on, let's be real. You know you want to see that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. I'm so excited. And I think it'll look really cool on that Disney sampler. So that's one of my potential projects. I haven't decided which one I'm going to do yet. Um, another fabric I got. This one doesn't have a project yet. This is my fabric of the month from Be Stitch Me. Um, it's April Showers is the name of it. It's just a beautiful, bright robin egg, robin's egg blue. And I'll definitely find something to put on it. But that's the monthly from Be Stitch Me. Gorgeous. One of the things I talked about, and I don't know if I ever followed up, but I talked about from National Market, there was the one pattern that got away, and that was Tiny Modernist's Unicorn Tapestry. Well, my fabric vendor had extras, so I got it. And um, part of, I think, what makes this so beautiful is the fabric that it's stitched on. So I did actually buy... The exact fabric that the model was stitched on, well, not exact, because I'm scared of lin I'm scared of linen, and it was stitched on linen. Um, so I bought the Ada, but it is still the Riviera Aqua. Slightly different color than the linen, but not too much. Um, I think it's still going to look gorgeous on this. Um, so that's the 16 count Ada. And then I mentioned this one before. This is um, Silver Creek Samplers Moonshine. Um, and I wanted to do this on kind of a, I like this cloudy look that's going on. So I wanted to kind of capture that. So I ordered this fabric uh, from Picture This Plus. And it is, again, 16 count Ada because that's what I use. I might branch out eventually. I've heard good things about Lugana, but um, I'm terrified of linen, so for now I still use Ada, but I have upped my number, uh, my count from 14 to 16 because I like the coverage with two stitches better and you'll tear my loop start from my cold dead hands. So this is a uh, 16 count picture this plus called Dapple. It's a nice cloudy gray um, and I think that that moonshine would look great on it. So that's my new fabric haul. Those are three of the six patterns that I'm considering um, as my new starts. Uh, all of them will get started eventually. It's just a matter of which ones I do first. Um, I'm actually probably going to do one that I didn't show you because it is also a gift. Excuse me, it doesn't have a deadline on it, but I'd like to get started on it um, first because I'd like to get it to the recipient. Second, because I think it's a gorgeous pattern and it's a gorgeous, or gorgeous fabric and i kind of impatient to get my hands on it. So there's that. So that's my haul, my new fabrics, all the A12s. Ooh, I love that. I'm sorry, it gave me chills. Um, <laughs> and... I guess that's all I have for you this week. I haven't been doing a lot of television watching. I finished the third book in the Vampire Knitting Club series. Um, they're just adorable little mysteries. They're, they're kind of cute, and I like them. Um, and it's gotten me back into knitting. So they're cozy mysteries. They're, they're not super suspenseful, and they're kind of silly, but I enjoy them. Um, I've started the Witcher series. I started The Last Wish on audio, um, and I haven't had a lot of chance to work on it lately. 
or to listen to it, I mean, but hopefully that'll change in the next couple weeks. I should have a lot of um, a lot of time at work to listen. Other than that, I watched the Netflix documentary "How to Fix a Drug Lab uh, Drug Scandal" or "Drug Lab Scandal." Uh, very interesting, and that's really the only new stuff I watched. I've been watching a lot of like stuff that I can watch in the background and not pay too much attention to. So I guess it, the long and short of it is I don't have a media update for you. But anyway, that's where I am. I promised I'd keep this short and it looks like I'm at about 16 minutes right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, stay safe and stay healthy and I'll see you in two weeks. Bye.